Makeup as you get older is really interesting because I think if you wear too much, it's really aging. If you wear none, it's terrifying. So I think you just have to have the right amount to kind of enhance yourself, but not try to cover up who you are or the experiences and laugh lines that you have. Since I'm not on television every day, I don't have to do, you know, the full spackle treatment. But I have been putting on a little bit when I do Zoom interviews or Instagram Lives or, you know, have interviews where I'm at a conference or something like that. But in general, I've been wearing a lot less makeup. And it's so funny because now people are saying to me, we don't like you with all that makeup anymore. I think people appreciate showing the real you. And it's been nice to hear people say, we like you just the way you are. I think mascara makes a world of difference. You know, my eyelashes are pretty light and my eyes kind of disappear when I don't have mascara on. So L'Oreal mascara from CVS is my go-to. And I also think lipstick makes a world of difference. I probably have stayed away from a lot of makeup trends. I think I probably overdid it on the eyeliner early, and I still probably do actually. So I kind of look like I have raccoon eyes, which is not a good look, ladies. But I think all in all, I've had professionals. I've been lucky enough to work with professional makeup artists who are really talented and uh, have made me look pretty good through the years. When it comes to like my beauty regimen, my husband and I were laughing because he said, I think I do more stuff than you do. I try to drink a lot of water to keep my skin and my whole body hydrated. I try to have a healthy diet. Cookies are my downfall, so my name is Katie and I'm addicted to cookies. But I'm really working on trying to eat healthier and I think that really does have an impact on not only how you feel, but then how you feel has a real impact on how you look and how you act. And not to sound cliched, but I think living a life where you're happy, engaged, have gratitude, feel connected to your friends and family and loved ones and to the world at large, I think that's the most important beauty secret of all. I think when we start seeing women as they age and appreciate the, the beauty that comes with that, I think that women will stop trying to look young all the time. And I think honestly, it's, it's such a novelty that we've been so conditioned to see young faces that when you see someone who's older, it's almost like <laughs> <laughs> And we need, to, we need to stop that. We need to start celebrating and appreciating women at every age. One of the most exciting things I've noticed in our culture is beauty has become much more inclusive. I think we're celebrating all different kinds of beauty different ethnicities, different sizes and shapes, and are really kind of going a little deeper when it comes to beauty. I think people feel less pressure to conform to a specific definition of beauty, and I think that is awesome. And I think it's uh, really changed my perception of beauty as well.